With global temperatures and fuel costs rising, the global need for cheap and clean energy sources is unlike anything before. Clean burning hydrogen might just be the fix the world is looking for, and Canada is ready to deal. So we're beginning to see the hydrogen economy uh, in sort of a variety of pilot programs, which are really very exciting, a lot of it centered in the Edmonton industrial region. Considered a clean fuel because when it burns, hydrogen leaves only water behind. But the fuel can have a carbon footprint depending on how it's produced. It's carbon intensity coded in a system of nine colors. Green is the cleanest, produced using renewable energy like wind power. Gray, brown and black hydrogen are the worst. Hydrogen made from fossil fuels. Most hydrogen projects being explored and invested in Alberta are coded blue, still produced by fossil fuels like natural gas, but relying on carbon capture and storage systems. European markets want green hydrogen, but those projects don't come cheap. Green hydrogen is far from being cost competitive, but of course with electricity rates at the level that they're at in Europe, uh, a lot of things start to look more attractive in comparison. We just have to be realistic about our like the capacity of these new technologies. So LNG Canada produced around 330 times more energy than this uh, green energy GH2 facility can export. It's why this deal isn't expected to turn the tide of Europe's energy crisis. Still, environmental groups say Germany is right to demand nothing less than a hydrogen completely green. The climate impacts of using natural gas to make hydrogen are tremendous. Um, and there's a huge carbon bomb. That's not to say there isn't interest in exporting Canada's blue hydrogen elsewhere, with Asian markets looking to bring this fuel source their way. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.